everyone, my name's Hannah. Now the question that I get asked the most across all of my Twitter accounts is how did you get so many Twitter followers? So in this video I'm going to tell you the story of how I somehow got over a million, possibly over two million followers on Twitter and I hope you find it interesting and let's go. I think it was about two and a half years ago when I first got Twitter and I had no followers and I had no idea how to get followers. So for the first few months on Twitter I had like 60 followers and I didn't really understand what to do on it. But then as more and more people started getting Twitter, I started tweeting these funny little relatable things. I saw how fun it was to make up like silly tweets and they'd get like two retweets or like a favourite or something and even that then s seemed amazing. I'd start to see on Twitter that people used to follow a lot of people to get them to follow back and I thought that this would be like a good way to sort of get a base of followers. So I did this on my main account over however many months and my main account got like 60,000 followers but this was from like people interacting with my stuff not just me following them. If you're a true Twitter 2012 kid you'll remember like five retweets where you'd retweet five of a person's tweets and they'd retweet five of yours. And this was really good to like gain followers at first as well. I started to realise that people don't want to like retweet boring stuff like just being a McDonald's lol. And that's when I had the idea for Sims Logic. And Sims Logic gained like 15,000 followers overnight just with me posting funny things I'd noticed when playing on The Sims. And then I would retweet it onto my personal account so I had that base of followers which could then follow Sims Logic and then it grew and grew. And I was a bit like whoa I'm onto something here like why is this gaining so much when a personal account takes months and months to grow this big and in the first week it had grown by about 30,000 it was just so fun to be interacting with all these people and making people laugh just by tweeting out this stuff so I'd realise that people want to retweet like funny stuff that's on a page that's dedicated to that so I had sims logic and I had to think to myself what else do I love so much and immediately it was Harry Potter which was based on the same flawed logic type of thing and Hogwarts logic gained like 4,000 overnight as well which I was obviously overwhelmed with and as time went on it got easier and easier to build these parody accounts I could retweet Hogwarts logic onto Sims logic and Sims logic onto Hogwarts logic and they just kept growing and growing and growing and I just found it really easy to come up with tweets for those two accounts and I grew those for quite a while just those two and my personal account as well. It was quite a while after I'd made Sims and Hogwarts Logic that I had the idea for primary school problems and I think Sims Logic was on a hundred thousand by this time and Hogwarts Logic was on 80,000. I have no idea how I came up with primary school problems but that one just absolutely blew up. Like that hit a hundred thousand followers in the first five days. When I say that, that just freaks me out. Like one hundred thousand people were interacting with things that I was just coming up with. I was getting like tens of thousands of retweets on these tweets. Like, when I sit and think about it, it doesn't seem real. Imagine that many people standing in a room. Like that just, that just really, I don't know, kind of humbles me a bit but I don't like to think about it because it really weirds me out. <laughs> and since then Hogwarts Logic is on 280,000, Sims Logic is approaching 200,000 and Primary School Problems is approaching 350,000 and those aren't even half of my accounts. Like I come up with new ideas every single week but I think that just shows that anyone can grow on social media. Like it's such a new thing that the game hasn't been set yet so if you've got an idea for a funny Twitter page just make it and who knows you might end up with like loads of followers. And yeah that's how I got so many followers on Twitter. I'm still not 100% how I did it if I'm honest but that's the best way I can explain it. If you did enjoy this video and found it informative make sure you pop it a great big thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every single Monday. I'm still sticking to that and yeah I shall see you next time. Bye! One of the worst things about secondary school was walking in the hall after you've got changed for PE and you realise that it's bleep test day.